I've got something a little bit special for you today. I've been buying old folding cameras, absolutely loving them. I saw this one on Trade Me a while back, which is a local auction site in New Zealand. It was going fairly cheap, and I thought, mm, shall I, shan't I? I've got a few, I won't bother. So I took it off watch list and, and forgot about it for a while. And then I decided, you know what, let's have a look at it again. So I had a look at it again, and uh, one of the photographs showed the, the, the back door of the camera open, and there was a film inside it. And I thought, do you know something? I don't recognize the film at all. It, it was a colorful, vibrant film. So I decided, let's get it. And the film, I can use the backing paper as part of my little display in my van. You stick it on the, uh, on the van walls just to make it look a little bit more decorative. So that was the plan. The camera is an early 1950s Foitzik Phoenix Trier. Uh, and it's uh, a beautiful, beautiful little camera, 6x6 folder, but more on this later. This is going to be a two-part video. The second part of the video is about me looking at the camera, showing you around the camera, putting some film in it, taking it for a ride, trying to get a result out of it. But that's part two. Part one, this part, is a special part, in my humble opinion. So the film that I got out of the camera was exposed, and uh, that, was, that, that got me heart racing a little bit, I thought. There could be something special on here. I decided to get the film out of the camera, try and get a result out of it, see if there was anything worth saving on this roll of film. And uh, yeah. Now I'm in touch with the seller, and I told her what I was doing, and I told her I'd found the film in the back of the camera, and she explained that this camera belonged to her dad. It was his first ever camera, and he emigrated from Belfast in Ireland to New Zealand, and uh, brought up the family in, uh, in Auckland by the sound of it. So this was his first camera. Apparently she didn't realise that the film in the back of the camera was actually a film. She thought it was part of the mechanism, so she just sold his job a lot. So uh, when I've gone through that, you'll, you'll see the process. You'll see the process of what I got from the film. Suffice to say, she's a happy lady and her siblings are happy too, I would imagine. Unfortunately, the photographer is no longer with us. He passed a couple of years ago, but I'm sure wherever he is, I hope he's buzzing as much as I'm buzzing about what I've got off this camera. I tell you, I am chuffed to bits. All right, on with the film. I've got the film loaded into the dev tank, <laughs> which went a lot easier than it normally goes with HP5 or FP4 or any of the other rolls. It went on really, really well. So that's the backing paper. Old metal spool as well. I want to keep this, uh, this section of backing paper and put it in my van. I've not seen a, a roll of uh, Kodak very chrome 620 film before. Certainly never used one before. Certainly never developed one. This is going to be interesting. So after doing a little bit of research, I reckon D76, one to one dilution, around about 12 minutes, maybe 13 minutes. See how it goes. So the moment of truth or disappointment, is there anything on this roll of film? Looks very, very dark at the moment. And oh, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When I say eight, we've got seven and a half. Seven and a half images, which look, oh Jesus. Which looking, they're all kids. They're all kids, young kids. I would guess the lady I bought the camera off, I would guess, and it's only a guess, that she is one of these kids. My God, that's incredible. Ho oh, ho, I'm, I'm so giddy. <laughs> I'm so, oh man. The first frame looks like a house somewhere. Second frame is one, two, three, four. Three kids and a, and a toddler maybe, sat down in some grass. The next image is the same three kids with a, with a smaller young girl. Three kids again holding the young girl's hand. We've got one toddler stood, one toddler kneeling. We've got one image which, quite, which is quite dark and that's one of the toddlers on their own. We've got one shot of a young kid running about with what looks like a pair of trunks on. And we've got one image of a young toddler with a big, with a big sun hat on, sat on the steps of, uh, of a house. I am so impressed with those. Cannot wait to get this dry, 
get it scanned real quick see what these are success so far success once the negatives were dry they went really curly i photographed the negatives now transferred them into lightroom classic they look good as negatives i'm just going to do the conversion the uh, the conversion the cheap way i've not got negative lab pro as of yet all i do is invert the curves and we should get an image and there are four kids now i initially thought that three of the kids were were, were lads but it turns out that by the looks of this, there's one lad and three lasses. How incredible, and maybe a little bike here at the front, push bike. How incredible is that? One person walking in the background there, one person walking in the background there. That looks fantastic. I'm just going to put a slight inverted curve in there, just to boost a little bit of contrast. And then we'll save that and we'll come back and play with that later on. I'll tell you what, for an incredibly old film, that looks fantastic it really does and then we'll go to his next image so look at this one so this one this is the half frame the half shot of the house so just need to spin it round counterclockwise there we go and then we'll just line it up i'm presuming this must have been the family home now i did read an email that the lady sent me not long back that said her dad had come out from belfast so this this is the camera he used when he came to new zealand from Belfast in Ireland so presumably this is the family home in New Zealand that's a complete guess it looks like a New Zealand home looks like there's a truck at the front there and that's a home on wheels so maybe maybe that's the family home being placed on its uh, on its site I'm quite happy with that we're just going to export that again because I want to work on these a little bit more okay so now we'll just work on the third image with viewfinder cameras, it's quite hard to know exactly what you get in the frame. So uh, all credit to the gentleman, the photographer, who took these pictures because uh, he's got them. He's got them pretty well spot on. I'll just come down here and do the, inver the curve inversion. Drag that one up, bring it to that point there. How cool is that? Hey, how cool is that? I mean, seriously, I do not know what age these kids are. At the time, I don't know, I'm guessing the young girl there, maybe maybe two, three, young fella, maybe five, six. These two look like twins, actually. They could be twins, the two older girls, and they look like they could be in the sort of eights, nines, tens, maybe. An old car in the background. I don't know anything about old cars, but it's an old car. Man, how old is this roll of film? How old are these kids? How old are these kids now? I'm just wondering if that is the seller there. Pure guess, complete guess. Right, let's uh, stop littering. Save that. Uh, what are you doing, Paul? Let's save that bad boy. Okay, next image. Let's have a look at this one. This looks like this is the same kids again. So we're just going to spin it round. Okay, we're going to do a crop in. Let's crop down. And this this is one again where the, the young girl is just about outside the frame. She's still there, she's still there. She's hanging on in. This is looking back at history. This is some. This is somebody's family, somebody's history. I am absolutely loving this to bits. I've got no idea who these people are. I just, I just get this sense that I am bringing somebody's somebody's images together. It's certainly the content rather than the technicalities which make these photographs. In, in my mind, these photographs are so valuable, and I have, like I say, I have no association with these people whatsoever. But as, a, as an avid street photographer, anyway, I love. A vast majority of the photographs I take of random people on the street and I've got no association with them whatsoever but they mean something to me and uh, this honestly this is an absolute uh, this is a privilege to work on these images oh mates look at that look at that young fella that young fella there will be a strapping six foot five maybe 60 70 years old now hopefully if he's still knocking about looks like a, a New Zealand beach scene look at that young fella there and I, I would guess, I've no idea whatsoever, the black and white photographs. If these guys hail from Ireland, I wonder if that's a shock of red hair there. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, let's get that saved. This is the photograph that was uh, quite dark. It's quite a dense image. So let's just see if we can bring something from this. Okay, I'm just going to try and line that up as close to the 6x6 six six frame as possible. That's not too shabby. I'm going to click a black and white just to get rid of any colour fringing. And then let's just go into the curves. And look at the look at the histogram. So everything's there. It's all in the middle. Look at that. Look at that kid. Oh, look at that cute face, man. That is incredible. I'm not going to do too much with it. 
like I say, because I want to, I want to play with these a little bit more, see if I can get a little bit more detail out of them, a little bit more contrast. But man, look at the smile on that bub's face. Happy as Laddie, or Paddy, happy as, happy as Paddy or Michael. And this looks like a Baywatch scene. This could be young, what's his name? I can't remember his name, what's his name? It was in Baywatch, you know, Hassel, Hasselhoff. This, what's his name? Dave, David Hasselhoff. This could be young David Hasselhoff here, or David McHasselhoff, or David O. Hasselhoff. Let's just uh, get those levels adjusted. Look at that. And that's the young fellow who I thought may have a shock of red hair. And it's definitely, look at that, look at that face, mate. Look at that face. Is that a happy kid or what? Look at that. And it's definitely, by the looks of it, a New Zealand beach scene. I've never been to Ireland, so I'm not sure what Irish beaches look like. But I've seen plenty of New Zealand beaches. They've got sand and they've got sea and they've got rocks and they've got people, so uh, what the hell do I know? All right, stop wittering and go to the next image, my boy. The next image is actually the last image. And this is the young girl sat on the porch there. And it's not very sharp, this one. It's a little bit out of focus. I know personally from using these old folders, these distance folders, scale focus cameras, that you've got to be pretty spot on with your, your focus. And this one, I think, sadly, is not going to be too sharp again though the histogram is pretty spot on so these are well exposed the, this this guy knew what he was doing that is for sure unfortunately though that uh, like i suspected that one's not very sharp at all but look at that smile again i mean come on what more can you ask from a bloody from a film this old and i've no idea how old it is but i know it's old look at that smile mate i am chuffed to bits all right so Let's just have a skip through them again. Look at the, look at these, mate. I mean, come on, look at them. Look at them. How unbelievable a result. That's, that's my favorite shot. I mean, look at that. That one's good. That one's, that one's incredibly good. But look at that. I mean, Jesus, come on. That young fellow there needs a wee. I know them feelings. When you gotta go, dad, hurry up. I need a wee, quick, crack on. And he's probably just had a wee there, so he's happy as laddie. These are unreal, mate. And that one, look at that face. And that face. Ah, chuffed. Chuffed to bits. So I've just imported the saved images back into Lightroom. I'm just going to give them a bit of a tweak. A bit of a tickle up. Get rid of some dust spots that are knocking about. Such as these little things here. No major reason to be doing this, but... I would just really love to send these photographs to the lady. Oh, possibly lives up in Auckland. Good feeling. This is a good feeling, guys. Oh, what are you doing, fat boy? All right, what have you done? All right, okay. A little bit of a dust spot there, look. Just in the hair. Okay, there's a fairly sizable scratch there. So I'll just try and clumsily clean that scratch up a little bit. Let's try that one. And there's a person in the background there. I don't want to do anything to erase that person in the background. All I'm trying to do is get rid of any major dust spots, really. Especially around the kids' faces. Look at these faces, man. And these four kids here, mate. This is my absolute favourite shot. Look at that. I think that is just such an amazing photograph. Uh, all credit goes to the photographer. And, of course, the kids who are seen here modelling away like good ones. But look at that, man, look at that. You're looking at some serious history right there on the computer. And what I'm gonna do is just get rid of that little black spot, little black dust spot on young fella's head. And I'm sure the young fella is not such a young fella anymore. We'll just get rid of this little dust spot on the young lady's face. Another dust spot there. And another dust spot. So these could be chemical spots actually, but no matter what they are, they are now gone. Oh, I am absolutely, I'm having a ball. This is Friday night. This is, this is what I do on my Friday nights. Oh, what a party night. A little bit of dust mark there, I believe. A little bit of a scratch on the young girl's leg. Try and clean that up a little bit. Dust mark. A couple more dust spots down there. Nothing major. There's, I'll, I'll tell you what. I've, uh, I've developed negatives that I've done myself recently that have come out far worse than this. Far, far worse than this. This is, oh, I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm going to research this film uh, and find out a little bit more about the film because it is, it, it, it might, it stood, literally, this has stood the test of time. How cool, look at that, how cool is that?